Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a reading. Hold on one second. <coughs> Sorry, I felt like a cough coming on here. I'm going to do a reading for Gemini. Okay, this is going to be your March 2020 love reading. Please remember this is a general reading, so if you'd like something more specific, my info is in the description box. This will be for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. Okay, um, if you'd like to check out your other signs, uh, my video playlist link is in the description box, as well as there's a link for astrologycafe.com if you'd like to pull your natal chart, if you're unsure what your signs are. Okay, and then the last thing that I have for you is I'm doing a giveaway um, at the end of the month. I just closed out February, so I will be reaching out or announcing those winners this week. Um, but I'm giving away two bracelets um, with an angel wing. One's an amethyst and one's a howlite. And um, I can put Reiki healing energy on them. I'm a Reiki healer. I can also do manifestation energy and um, for love, abundance, or something else, okay? So all you have to do to enter is to subscribe, like, and comment. If you're already a subscriber, you just need to like and comment, okay? If you watch other videos and you like and comment, you get entered more than one time, um, so it's not a one-time deal, okay? Um, some people have also asked me if they are for sale. They are also for sale. There's a website link in the description box. I am angellove.com. Okay, you can go there, check them out, or purchase them if you like. Okay, so let's get started. Gemini, let's get one. Ooh, we already got your card. Wow, I think that card came out for Aquarius, okay? So that's a good indication if you have Aquarius in your chart. There could be sim similarities to in this reading. I'm gonna pull all the cards uh, first. So Teneraphia was your current, um, your current energy. Ooh, we're already getting cards. Okay, so coming out here. Okay, mutual energy here. So it says here, uh, Tana Raphael, current energy, love and blessings fill your life, harmonious relationships with family members, hap happily ever after. Okay, let's see, hospitals challenges, we're pulling the rest of the cards here, and possible outcome. All right. Okay, now know that for this reading, bottom of the deck is the Ace of Swords. Okay, know that um, with this reading that um, you, you need to have somebody in your life that is a love interest or someone you're dealing with, with on the love aspect here. Okay, this is not a, um, if you're single, this reading probably will not resonate with you. You may want to look at one of my other readings. I will be doing um, singles reading coming up, but this one is just for people that have some type of love situation going on. Okay, so we talked about the Ten of Raphael here. Okay, definitely feel here. You got love and blessings in your life here. And you will have um, harmonious relationships with your family members. Okay, um, and happily ever after. So this could be a current situation if you're already in a committed relationship. This could also be, you know, just with your family members, um, but this is love. So I feel this is an indication um, that there is somebody in your life that you really love, and I feel they feel the same way with you as well, okay? Because their energy is actually coming up with the Ten of Cups, which is similar to this energy, or is that energy, okay? So this could be a water sign in your life, a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So they're definitely attached to you, okay? Now, the, the next two cards they're showing me is the Ten of Pentacles. This is your energy here, okay? Ten of Pentacles and Ten of Swords. I feel like there might have been an ending between you and this person, okay? If it was not an ending here, I feel that um, 
this person hurt you in some way very deeply here okay so there may have been some other situation um, that was very painful very hurtful um, and you're recovering from it but you you've gotten through it you're past it okay this could be earth energy capricorn taurus or virgo uh, also air energy which is your energy aquarius libra or gemini so i feel like you're the one that was hurt gemini here in this situation okay energies can also be reversed as well now the mutual energy between the two of you somebody here was being a little bit stubborn or somebody here was not wanting to accept any offers okay it may have been that somebody wanted a commitment here and somebody wasn't having it for whatever reason okay you know i'm also seeing the scenario too this happened um libra in the libra reading i believe uh somebody maybe your other person may be married too that's another possibility here that might be why they're not accepting any offers okay challenge here uh four of swords two of you may be on a break or somebody uh, may be thinking about things not sure how to proceed in this situation okay so i feel like a lot of you that you could be on a break with this person either that or somebody's just taking some time to rest and think about things okay and then possible outcome we have queen of swords energy here okay gemini i feel like you put your foot down with this person i feel like um it could have been you too who wasn't willing to accept any offers from this person because whatever happened with you was very very painful okay I feel like you had this this beautiful energy with this person and something happened and now you're like I just want truth and clarity um, you know this person may not have told you that they were married okay and with the ace of swords on the bottom I feel here you may cut this person out of your life and start new and start fresh here with the ace of swords if this is not that situation that then i feel here then this is about the universe is going to bring the truth and clarity that you need in this situation okay so i'm going to pull some clarification cards see what we get here why is the 10 of raphael here please why is the 10 of raphael here why is the 10 of raphael here please why is the 10 of raphael here please oh Four of Wands. This might be Twin Flame relationship here. Okay. All right. Yeah, there was definitely happiness here. Okay. Where um, at one time, if there's not happiness now, it may be from the past. Why is the um, Ten of Pentacles here and the Ten of Swords? Let's get one card, please. Okay, I think they want to give us two. Why is the Ten of Cups here, please? We have three tens on the board. Oh. Got three cards there. Why is the Four of Swords here, please? Or actually, no, sorry. Where's the Four of Cups here? We actually have, we have four tens on the board. Four tens on the board and two fours on the board. Oh, wow. We got a lot there. We'll just take it anyway. Okay, why is the Four of Swords here, please? Why is the Four of Swords here? And then why is the Queen of Swords here, please? Why is the Queen of Swords here, please? Okay. I'm going to ask one more. Why is the King of Cups here, please? Why is the King of Cups here? Why is the King of Cups here, please? All right, bottom of the deck. Ooh, chariot card. Okay, could be Cancer in your life, Cancerian. Um, this might be too about you just um, taking control and moving forward. Okay, like I said, some of you here, I'm seeing with the Ace of Swords, you just might be moving forward. Okay, you may um, move forward from this person, is what I'm seeing. Okay, but that won't be for all of you, that's going to be for some of you okay ten of raphael 
clarified by the Four of Wands. So like I said here, definitely, um, definitely feel here the overall energy here is happiness, is togetherness. Could be family issues at hand here too, okay? You could already be in a commitment with this person, all right? But feeling here, you just want to tie the bow here. Like tie the bow, want things to come together here. Could be twin flame relationship, right? I feel like too, you may be having family visit as well. That's what I'm hearing, okay? So, okay, so we talked about this ending here with the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. Yeah, Ten of Wands, something that was very much burdening you, okay? And I feel like, it's almost like I feel like you're weeding through all of these challenges and, you know, they're weighing you down, okay? Trying to get past them, trying to make progress here. Okay, could be fire sign in your life, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now in their world, like I said, Ten of Cups here. Ten of Cups energy, like I said, this person could have somebody, could already be in a committed relationship or they're just feeling very emotionally attached to you. Okay, regardless, I feel like this person definitely is very attached to you. Look what we have here. We have three knights. This person... This person, let's see, we have Knight of Wands. This person's passionate about you. They do want to offer you something, and they may even want to give you an apology here, okay? So I definitely feel like there's going to be some progress. Um, this person may come in and, and want passion really quickly here, okay? Um I feel here when it comes to commitment here that they want to take things slow. They don't want to rush it. Um, but I feel here that this person wants to communicate or express or show um, how attached they are to you is what I'm feeling here. Okay. Three nights. We got three different energies here. We have um, fire energy, uh, earth energy, and water energy here. Okay. Wow. Three nights there. Okay, so mutual energy was four of cups. Someone reluctant to receive any offers here. Somebody being stubborn. This person may too be stubborn about expressing how they feel as well as what I'm seeing or hearing. And let's see what we got here. Yeah, I was just saying this person may be stubborn about expressing how they're, they're coming off in this emperor energy. Um, somebody who wants to be in control of the situation, somebody who may not um, express how they feel emotionally too often. Okay, this could be Aries in your life. Let's see what we have here. Yeah. I feel here too with the Six of Swords, someone may have gone away on a vacation or gone away to think or may have done some traveling and really thought about this situation, okay? This can also too be about moving away from the conflict of the situation. Um, but this person may have, I feel here, may have gone on some type of trip or something to really think about, okay? Um, really think about how they didn't accept an offer here. Okay, because they are emotionally attached to you, I feel like they just didn't want to show it. That's why they were being stubborn. And then we have the Nine of Wands, patiently waiting. Okay, so somebody here has been patiently waiting for this other person. Um, I feel patiently waiting for this person to realize how they actually feel because this person has a hard time expressing their feelings. And look, it's Queen of Swords again. So I feel here, Gemini, that definitely you put down your foot in the situation. Um, I feel like you detached, you detached emotionally here to this person because I feel like what they were giving um, was very unbalanced or they weren't giving much emotionally anyway. I feel here they weren't really giving much really. 
because I feel like it left you burdened. And then look here, we have Six of Pentacles. So th this tells me, Six of Pentacles is telling me that they're definitely, um, somebody was giving more in the situation. Things were unbalanced. I feel like that's why you uh, put your guard up. You, you put your sword up here. Uh, for some of you, this may be, this person may be married and that's why they weren't giving at all or accepting any offers. Um, and I feel here, some of you may be moving forward. Okay. Some of you may be moving forward and cutting this person out of your life. But the possible outcome that we have here, so we had the Queen of Swords, which we just talked about, and then we have the King of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. I feel here this person's coming in, like I said here, with the Three of Knights, okay? Maybe Three Knights add up to a King here, okay? Maybe that effort of the Three Knights is going to add up to this King here, and they're actually going to do something, okay? May, I, I'm feeling, too, this person in the past may have only been giving you bits and pieces okay you know giving you a little bit of uh, some emotion okay maybe telling you what you want to hear um giving you enough okay enough to make you feel like things were stable and then giving you enough passion to hold you in here okay so i feel like they may be in like a breadcrumber, okay? This person may have only been giving a little, little, little just to keep you in, okay? If that scenario ties into you, okay? But I feel like they're coming back here um, with something here. They're, they're going to come in and propose something. I feel like they do want to work on things here, okay? They know that it's going to be some work. That's why, too, here I feel like there's three kings. They know they have that things have to be more balanced, and they have to give in all areas, not just um, in one area, okay? So interesting. But like I said, some of you, I feel like you're going to move forward, okay? If this person's married, um, if you're dealing with somebody who's married and they've been in and out, okay? I have a feeling here you're going to move on from this person, okay? I feel like you're going to move on here with the chariot card. Okay, I'm going to pull now some Romance Angel cards and see what comes out. Thank you, Angels and Spirit Guides, for your guidance. Let's get, and that might be why the, the um, Ten of Raphael and Four of Wands is at the crown of the reading, okay? There may have been multiple families involved here, okay? Let's get three cards for Gemini. What messages of love do you have for Gemini? Let's get two more. There's one and one more. Oh, there it is. Oh, look at we have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry. Keep the relationship going. Okay, this is indicative of a third party situation or this is somebody not sure about the other person. Okay, not sure about their intentions. Okay. This person's looking at this person, really, you're kissing my hand because really you haven't given much in the situation, okay? That's how I'm reading this right now, okay? This person may not have been giving you a lot, and then all of a sudden they come in and they say, oh, I want you, you know, you're so beautiful. And you're like, what? <laughs> I don't know, spirit's showing me that, wow. Okay. Okay, well, we have passion here. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Definitely see that. Okay, this person's coming in with passion. They're coming in. They want to be playful. Recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Okay. Somebody here wants to bring things back to how they were. Okay bring it to like the honeymoon phase is what I'm feeling here. Romantic feelings, your feelings are real and worth experience. So this person definitely has feelings for you. Okay. And it shows here. I said that first card out, I feel like they are definitely emotionally attached to you. Okay. But just depending on your situation, we'll tell you how it's going to turn out. So let's get a couple cards from the Lover's Oracle deck to see what comes out.
Oh, okay. Let's see what we have. Hmm. Look what we have. Romance, Cupid's arrow strikes. So yes, um, definitely feel like this person's coming in. They do want to offer you something. And then look what we have here. Balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. Okay. I feel like this is an indication. You know, I keep going back to these three nights. I feel like this person is coming in and they're trying to be more balanced in the situation. I feel like they want to give in more areas than one. If they were somebody who was just giving a little bit, I feel like this person's really going to work towards being the whole package here. Okay. Um, you know, <clears throat> So, all right, Gemini, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Again, if you'd like to enter for the bracelets, just subscribe, like, and comment. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.